Okay, so we got um, a couple of these Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes. We got two. Um, and also in a later video, I have another Shining Fates. So we'll call this the Shining Fates series. We got um, uh, Pikachu V. Um, well, I'll show that in a later video. We're just going to do one box this time, I think. Um, so let's just get started. Opening the box. So I've got quite a collection going now. Um, I'll show the um, the cards that I got earlier later on too. Um, right here. So there we go. You can see inside there's a pretty cool pattern. I'm not going to rip that apart though because I'm going to kind of keep these boxes. I think. Move that back a little bit. So inside we've got the book. Um, shows you all the cards you can get, etc. I'm sure you guys know what those are about. Um, so let's get inside. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take this slide. Well, should I take the slider out? Yeah, let's take the slider out. Um, so we got another book inside. We got a bunch of um, packs to open. I'm going to sneeze. It's quite... <coughs> Phew, bless me. Gosh. Um, it's quite dusty. <laughs> so we got um, a little. Who is that? Is that Evie? I think that's Evie. Um, it's literally on the box. I should have checked that, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Evie. Um, so what else we got? We got a bunch of NG cards. I'm not going to bother. Quite a lot there. I'm not going to bother opening those now. Um, oh, and we got an EV VMAX card as part of the deck, so that's definitely a great one for the collection. I'm not going to open the packet for that now, but that's definitely going in a hard back thing. I imagine we'll get the same thing from the next set. We got some of these, uh, I think these are used to separate your cards. Um, like I say, I've said in previous videos, I'm not an expert at this, but I'm getting more and more knowledgeable as time goes on, like brown kind of dice in there. And the um, upside down card. Okay. Right, so that's it for the box. Um, kind of sped through that, but um, I just want to get into the cards and let's see what we get. I do like this Eevee card though. I think that's cool. Eevee V Max. Um, right here. So we got um, all these packs to get through. I'm going to put that somewhere safer so I don't accidentally nudge it with my elbow. Um, right, let's get into the first pack. you guys can see okay i'm trying the camera at a different angle this time so that you can see what i see as i do it um so i'm having to kind of avoid hitting the camera with my arms a little bit i'm by no means a professional at this but i'm getting better i think each time um so we got the little card with the i don't know what they're called uh, take three from the top apparently and then the next should be an energy card yep there we go move that to one side so what we got here uh, we get a Rusted Shield, okay, a Rotom, Cremorant, Snom, Trapinch, Nicket, already got a few of those, Biazel, a Weasel, Buizel, a Shinx, uh, and a Reverse Shiny, Reverse Shiny, Snom, okay, we'll put that into a slightly more special pile, and a, what the hell? Delmis V. Okay, so this is a for the first pack. We're off to a good good start, in my opinion. It's a good start. Um, right, let's. Um, I'll put that to one side again for now, but I will package that up very shortly. Um, maybe I ought to rest them against the backboard or something. I do actually have one set up, but I don't think it's going to be perfect for this purpose. All right, well that's a pretty awesome um, first uh, first first card. In fact, let's get that put into a plastic wrapper now and then I can display it at the back um, I'm not sure how much these guys are worth I'm in a different location in our house not next to the PC so I can't just do a quick Google um, but yeah let's slide that in there carefully a nice little snug fit okay I don't mind touching up my fingers as much now <laughs> all right that's cool um, so yeah let's shove those at the back um, 
maybe put that in a different row keep the really good ones at the back okay next pack I swear I will come up with a pattern of doing all this that's a little bit neater and it easy right in the front okay uh, let's turn it around get rid of that uh, one two three to the front um, energy card Um, so we've got Rusted Shield, uh, Elder Cross, Elder Goth even, Cramorant, Eevee, Horsey, Cacnea, a Shinx, another Nicket, they seem to be coming around a lot, an Elder Goth, Reverse Shiny, and Professor's Research. I was expecting, oh, that is apparently a rare one, so I suppose I should um, put that in a a little sleeve. Um, just got your hand and draw seven cards. All right, we'll just put that in this row for now. Um, we'll keep the trainers separate. Though um, that does look like it's more of a rare trainer. The ones you tend to get towards the back once you've done that little shuffle that I did. Um, they do seem to be the rare ones. And since that was right on the back, it does seem that, that that's got some value to it, even though it's not a shiny or, um, or anything like that. We'll check it out later. I'll just keep it in that pile there so I know that could potentially be a good card. One, two, three. Uh, energy. Here we go. A Rusted Shield. Luxio. Thwacky. Gothifloor. Snom. Coughing. Cacnea. Gothifloor again. Uh, reverse Shiny Spinarak. And a bird keeper, bird keeper, sorry, full art card. Okay, let's get that into a sleeve straight away so I don't get my mucky fingers on it. It's important. I got some new, these are sleeves that I've not been using before. Normally I use the ones that come with a pack, but I find because you can't see the back of them, um, it's, they're not the best because you, you can't check out if to see if the the um, things square. So I've been reading a little bit about how to value cards and you can see that the left side is a little bit thicker than the right. So this is not a perfect, um, you know, you'd not get a PSE grading of 10 on this, but it is pretty good. Um, I don't see any miscoloring or anything there. So it's a pretty good card. It's not perfect though. Um, maybe you get a nine for that. Maybe you might get a 10 just because they don't care too much about those things. But I think that's that's potentially worth a good amount. That's not too bad for uh, two packs, right? So that's not a rare reverse shiny, but it is reverse shiny. This one, I think, that is a, not a rare, it's a uncommon uh, reverse shiny. Uh, and what was this one? Common reverse shiny. Yeah, so they're not amazing, those, but these two at the top are potentially worth a good amount. And obviously we've got our EVV Max up there. Let's make a little bit more room. Still quite a few packs to go. It's a good start, in my opinion. Um, we got two, one card from each. Well, one card from out of two out of the three packs. We've got a card that, in my opinion, is um, is uh, a good card to have. A good card for the collection. Um, we're not supposed to be looking yet, so we do one, two, three. Energy card, discard that. Well, I'm not going to throw it in a bin, but um, Team Yell Towel. Okay. Uncommon. Elder Goss. Luxio. Morpico. Chutal. Another Nicky. I think we've had a Nicky in every one so far. Grookey. Yanma. Reverse Hollow Rare Celebi. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, that's probably the best hollow we've reverse hollow we got so far, uh, and then a rare Manaphy. Okay, we'll pop that in um, its own little pile at the side. Um, right here, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six left to go. Wow, so there was, there was ten in this. I must have counted them at the beginning. I forgot there was ten. Thought we had eight in this one. This is they're actually pretty good packs. I um, mean, this is going pretty well so far. Um, I'll have to check the prices on them. 
Uh, so far, my collection's worth about £60. Um, I'm not sure how much of that I've... Um, I've spent because... <laughs> Um, I, I, I basically I've not really lost much money so far, um, but not really made a profit either. But I'm not doing it to make a profit. I'm doing it for the collection. But it's still nice to know that you could. I think I saw something cool at the back there. So let's get through this quickly. Uh, Ball guy, rusted sword, more pico, uh, spinner rack, snom, brew key. Yeah, there's definitely something cool right behind this one. Ditto, ditto V. Okay. Now, I remember the Ditto was quite a valuable card at some point. Uh, so I'm going to package up both of these in a... So a Galarian Wheezing. Um, let's get the Ditto in a, in a safety pack really quick. I, I'm going to put them in a an extra layer. I'll just do it after the video. Um, get him slid in there quickly. Okay. Uh, and then on the back, everything looks perfect. I think the spacing is, sorry, um, I think the spacing is perfect. Like the sides are even on both sides. I don't see any marking on on there. Um, on the front, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty perfect to me. I can't see anything wrong with that. That's, that's definitely a cool card. That may be the best one we have so far. Um, I'll have to check the price of that later. But you know, this is, this is, um, I'm already happy with this. Um, oh, we were going to package up the wheezing as well because that is a hollow rare. Um, and I already sneezed once, right? So, um, be careful. And we'll slide him in the pack. A Galarian wheezing hollow. So, yeah. Could be worth something, who knows? Um, potentially we need to, I'll, I'll go through them after, I don't think there's anything else particularly, um, dangerously valuable there, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll value up the pack, um, uh, I'll do that after the video, so, um, maybe you'll see at the end of this video how much it actually came to, if I actually do some editing for once, which I very rarely do, but I, but I think I need to probably put a little bit more time into my videos, so I've, got a, like a lamp set up next to me and things like that. I'm not entirely used to the um, space in this. In fact, I might move the camera a little bit um, so that I can move a little bit more freely um, because I found that I've been going to the right a little bit on these. Um, again, I'm still doing the same. It's because the camera's up on the, the left side. Um, anyway, so Dartrix, that's pretty cool. There's a bit that goes off the screen there. Uh, Cramorant, Rusted Shield. Morpico, Spinarak, Snom, Grookey. I definitely see something shiny at the back there. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Uh, Eevee, uh, Reverse Hollow Tutel. Um, so we'll just put that down. Another Morpico V. No, not another, sorry. That other one was Eevee V Max, right? A Morpico V. Okay. Let's get another sleeve for this guy then. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I, I heard that Shining Face can be pretty good. Um, like, it's a good deck to get. Um, I can't remember the price of it. I don't. I don't know if it, uh, I don't think they're the cheapest, but it wasn't crazy expensive either. So I mean, that looks pretty perfect condition to me. I can't see any any problems with that. Um, on the other side, uh, the spacings. Again, pretty much perfect. Like, that can be a PSA 10, you know. I'm not an expert at grading, but that looks good quality to me. Like, there's just a couple of things I know to look out for. Um, just essentially, if you see any, like, blotches, anything that looks like it shouldn't be there, if the sides aren't even, um, maybe you get a bit of whitening on the corners and things like that. But um, maybe there's a little... Oh, no, that was just a piece of dust. Yeah, I think that looks pretty perfect. I think that looks pretty perfect. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to value these up. Uh, all right, so four packs left to go. This has been pretty, um, pretty, pretty amazing, in my opinion. Like uh, we've had some really good cards from this, and we're getting a lot of the V's. We've had how many? We'll, we'll count them at the end. But Jesus, Jesus, this has been um, better than I thought it was going to be. All right, so one, two, three, to the back. Energy. Flip them over. Um, Rusted Sword, Rotom, 
Eldegoss, uh, Crofant, Spinarak, Snom, Horsey, a Rowlet, a Shiny Orbeetle. Uh, sorry, I was distracted. That oh, let's, let's get that one out of the way then. Dreadnor. Um, I'll just put him in the pile to that's not shiny, but I'll perhaps you know still put in my main collection um, because it's a rare. Um, yeah. Okay. So even the thing at the bottom, even the star at the bottom that shows you it's a rare is shiny on this one. So that's that's pretty special. I've not actually seen one that does that before. So I think we're going to package him up. Um, I'm not sure if he's worth anything, but um, yeah, I mean that's that's unique. So we definitely need packaging up. Right here, uh, we'll just keep him down here though. <clears throat> I'm gonna run out of space of good cards soon. Okay, so next pack, uh, we got three left to go. And um, personally, I think this has gone really well so far. So turn it over, pop one down, three to the back, get rid of the energy, um, uh, Tropius, Ball Guy, Rusted Sword, we already got one of those I think, yeah we did, Kuffant, uh, Spinarak, Snom, Horsey, uh, Rowlet, a Reverse Hollow Ball Guy? And a rare boss's orders. Okay, these these two both look kind of special. I will, um, I will be putting them in a collection too, and probably put them in a in a in a sleeve. Um, though I'm going to move this one out of the way, I think, just because he's not hollow. Like I want to put my rares that aren't hollow, um, kind of out of the way. Um, but I will do a quick valuation, like a. Because I'm doing this online thing where you check the, you add your cards to like a, what, what you've got in your collection. So I just tend to add the ones that look special onto there. So I know that what I've got and it also checks the value of them while you're doing it, which is pretty cool. Um, right, get rid of the energy. Another ball guy. A Cremorant. Thwacky. Tutor. More Pico. Coughing, Gossy Floor, Rowlet, Reverse Hollow Zarud, Rare, that's pretty cool, and a Celebi Rare, okay, cool, one pack left, and look at how many, oh, I just dropped some energy cards, <laughs> it's okay, they're only energy cards, I packed everything else in a safer spot, <laughs> um, yeah, I think out of, out of what we've got so far, like, we've definitely... There's a real, real selection of cards there. Um, right here, same again. Like a real selection of, of pretty good cards, you know, they're, they're not just, um, not just kind of any shinies. There's some that I kind of like. I like the more Pico. Oh, how do we get upside down? Open the pack upside down, I guess. Okay, so finally, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Elder Gus, Tutel, more Pico. We got a more Pico V as well. Coughing. Gossy Floor, Rowlet, a Reverse Hollow Tropius, and a Hollow Rare Lux Ray. Okay, uh, let's um, let's get him packaged up and inspect the card really quickly. We should probably do the same with the Zarude before I end the video. So um, let's get him in there. But yeah, quick quick inspection of the card. It looks looks pretty looks pretty. Um, Pretty perfect with the edges there. I don't see any any errors on it at all. Um, on the back, maybe no, no. I'd, I'd say that's pretty. That's pretty pretty perfect. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I think most of these have been good quality. So, um, I mean, we did see one where the centering was slightly off. So maybe maybe not perfection, but um, yeah. All right, I will go and calculate the prices. Remember, I've got another Shining Fates box to open. So hopefully we'll get as good as as good a turnout as this. I really want to see how much this ditto is worth. Um, let's pop him in a. I got these um, plastic sleeves. I actually ordered some new, more of these um, because the last ones I had had a purple tint on them. 
So I ordered some more ones that say they're clear, and they came today, and these still seem to have a purple tint on them. Um, so I'm not too happy about that, because that was the whole point in, in me getting them. But yeah, let's go check out what this ditto is worth. Uh, maybe it's not, maybe there's something here that's more expensive than that. Maybe the more key, more Picos um, could potentially be quite high demand. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the ditto packaging then. Um, yeah, pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. All right, well, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, we'll open the Shining Fates one, and then after that, we got another Shining Fates box. But this is the um, this is a different one, uh, the Pikachu V set. Um, I'll show you really quick. Um, well, I'll show you a better image of it in the next video. Um, but yeah, we got we got those two things yet to open. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, guys. Remember, I'm just starting out, so anybody who watches this, if you think it was in any way worth watching, a sub would be awesome. <laughs> and maybe a like as well. All right, then thanks a lot, guys. Catch you in the next one.